Hey folks, we're going to continue our talk on depreciation methods. So we've done definitions already. We've done straight line method already. So this particular video is going to be dealing with units of output or units of activity. Some books call it output, some books call it activity. It's the same difference. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you two different ways to work it. So I like my method the best, and then there is what the book, what my particular book does, the Weygandt book does. It's the very same thing. The only difference is they have rounding in the middle, and I don't like to round at all until the very end. So that's the only difference. So I'm going to show you what the formula is. We're going to do our chart. We're going to make the journal entries to record the depreciation and post to the T account. And then I'm going to come back over and show you the financial statement presentation and show you that everything ties together. Okay, so to, to refresh our memory, uh, we purchased a new very fancy copier. The cost is about $110,000. Salvage value is 10000 and the life is either five years or, in this case, it's going to be 20 million copies. Okay, so I'm going to go to my method right here, and the formula is cost minus salvage value times, and then you have another, a fraction, and the numerator is the current period's activity, and the denominator is the total expected activity. And once you run that formula, that gives you your depreciation expense. So for, for year one, cost is 110, salvage value is 10. So we're, the depreciable cost that we're going to depreciate is 100,000. So we can already put into our, our, our chart, if we want, the total depreciation expense has to be the depreciable cost as does the balance in the accumulated depreciation account at the end of the asset's life. And we want to come to our ending book value, which we want equal to our salvage value. OK, so year one's activity is 6 million copies. So 100,000 times 6 million divided by the total copies of 20 million is going to give us our depreciation expense of 30,000 for the first year. So I take the 30000 I make my journal entry. It's an adjusting entry. So depreciation expense is my income statement account. Accumulated depreciation for the copier is my balance sheet contra asset account, 30000 I'm going to post to the accumulated depreciation account, year one, 30000 So the accumulated depreciation is 30000 in my chart. And when I look at my financial statement presentation, for year one, I have the cost of the copier at, at 110 minus the accumulated depreciation gives me my net book value of 80, which also ties back to the chart. Year two, we're going to do the same thing. Depreciable cost of 100 times the current year's activity divided by total activity is going to give me 25000 for depreciation expense. Make the journal entries. Debit depreciation expense. Credit the accumulated depreciation. Post the accumulated of 25. And now my balance in the accumulated depreciation is 55000 And that matches the chart. Financial statement presentation for year two. Cost of 110 minus the 55000 in the accumulated depreciation gives me 55000 book value, which matches <clears throat> excuse me, my book value in my chart. Year 3, depreciable cost of 100 times current year activity of 4 divided by total activity of 20. And that will give us $20,000 for depreciation expense. Repeat the process. Year three, make your journal entry. Year three, post to the accumulated. Balance in accumulated is now 75,000. So in year three, accumulated depreciation is 75. And financial statement presentation shows cost 
minus accumulated equals net book value of 35 and the book value is 35 in our chart year 4 100 times 3 divided by 20 gives me 15,000 whoops sorry guys I know I hate it when it bounces around um, year 4 journal entry 15,000 post to the accumulated of 15 and now the balance in my accumulated depreciation is 90,000 so I have 90,000 in my chart I come down to financial statement presentation and I have cost of 110 minus accumulated of 90 gives me book value of 20 that's what I have okay if I know that my salvage value is 10 that means that my book value at the end of the assets life has to be 10 so that's kind of my check figure so if I have 20 there now and I want the answer to be 10 the ending to be 10 then my depreciation expense has to be 10 so let's work it and see if that's what we get the depreciable cost of 100 times 2 over 20 I'll be darned it's 10 so it's gonna work just fine make your journal entry post your year 5 accumulated your balance in the accumulated depreciation is the hundred thousand that you want it to be so your financial statement presentation in year 5 is cost minus accumulated equals book value and that 10,000 is what we have <clears throat> I pointed out all of the things that you need to notice again so just pay attention to that so if we work the other method look at the depreciation expense 30 25 20 15 and 10 30 25 20 15 and 10 I missed the 20 yep it's exactly the same in this case so let me show you what the book does the book takes cost minus salvage, okay, depreciable cost, and they divide it by the total copies of 20 million right here. And they get a factor of a half cent per copy. And then what they do is, is they take that half cent per copy, multiply it by the number of copies in the current year to get the depreciation expense for the current year. So this is where you need to watch out when you're doing online homework. You want to pay attention to the rounding that the software wants you to use because chances are it's going to make a difference. In mine, on this one, I did not round because it's exactly .005000 out there. If the, co if the software says to round to the nearest cent, it would be one cent per copy and then these numbers would be off some okay actually they'd be double what they are and you run out faster maybe it it you just need to pay attention to what the software tells you to do okay the journal entries you make are exactly the same the posting is exactly the same and the financial statement presentation is exactly the same okay so I hope I really haven't confused you too much with my method and the books method it's all a matter of where and if you round and that's all there is to it okay thank you guys have a good day bye